So yes people, welcome back to another video here on the JNM Football Channel. So tonight is my night before match, it's um, currently Saturday night, it's about 9 o'clock, I've got a match tomorrow afternoon. Now I've been wanting to do like a match routine or match day vlog for quite a long time now, but I, I always thought it would like get in the way um, of me preparing for my match and I wouldn't be able to focus as much as I would like to on the match and stuff like that, but after a lot of thought I've... I've I've decided to like just give it a try for one time and see how it goes um, So yeah, like my match routine it obviously for me it starts the day before the night before so a few things I do the day before match is I take it light obviously I try to um, stay off my feet as much as possible stuff like that basic stuff, but I also want to eat uh, I want to eat more carbs so I up my carb intake and I also focus even more on just drinking as much water as possible. So today, um, it's been a normal day, training, work, all that stuff. But what's different from other days is my carb intake is higher. So I eat a bit more rice, pasta, bread, um, stuff like that. Um, and obviously I up my water intake a bit as well. Now one meal that I like to have the night before match, just to give, just to up my carbs a little bit more, is a bowl of cereal. So I never really eat cereal. Um, however, I always have one bowl the night before match, the day before match. So I'm just going to have that now. I'll probably have a banana as well, maybe. Um, and I'm going to get into bed, chill, and I'm watching the new series that everyone's talking about Netflix, Squid Game, whatever. I've started that, I'm on episode two now. So I'm gonna watch that and I'll just fall asleep. Now one thing I do on match days is I don't set an alarm on my phone. So I know a lot of you guys play in the morning, so it's pretty tough to do. But if you play in the afternoon and you don't have anything to do in the morning, then not setting an alarm is a great thing to do. It, it allows your body to get as much sleep as it needs and to like wake up on its own or naturally or however you wanna call it. So my alarm goes off half seven every single day, but on match days, I turn that off and I wake up without an alarm. Now, even if I don't set an alarm, I normally wake up around seven, eight o'clock anyway. However, just knowing that I slept or gave my body as much sleep as it needed, it just like helps me prepare and I feel better after waking up without an alarm. So that's one thing I do on match day, is just not set an alarm. So yeah, as I said, I'm gonna have a bowl of cereal now, have a banana, get into bed, have a nice early night, watch some Netflix or this Squid Game thing, fall asleep, not set alarm, and I'll see you guys in the morning for match day. Right, so I'm just about to get into bed. As you can see, I've got Squid Game on TV. Now, a thing I do like to do, like to do the night before is obviously drink a lot of water, and also, use my heat pad um, or my groins, glutes, anything like that that's feeling not a bit tight, just like a fit a bit. And I like to bang on the heat pad 10 to 15 minutes before I go to, go to sleep. And then that's it. So yeah, I won't set an alarm, anything like that. I'll just wake up naturally in the morning and then I'll see you guys then. So the time is now um, half past eight. I've got about 10 past eight. So I've just been chilling in bed for the last 20 minutes. Um, the plan is now just I'm gonna get up slowly, get out of bed. Then I'll have breakfast, which will be my normal breakfast, which will be eggs, banana. But I'm also going to add a small portion of oats as well, just to just for an extra bit of carbs and energy for today. Just drinking a lot of water, having my breakfast, and then I'll get into the stuff that helps me prepare for the actual match later on. So my kick off's at half three. So I have breakfast now around nine-ish, and then I'll have my pre-match meal or lunch about three hours before kickoff, so that's about 12 o'clock, half 12, something like that. Um, and I'll show you guys what I eat, cook and stuff on a match day. So first things first, not just on match day, but basically any day, every morning I get up, is just to drink a bunch of water. So I'm probably gonna drink all of this in the next 10, 15 minutes. Then I will start making my breakfast and stuff like that. So I've got my breakfast ready. Um, and it's just, I have eggs every day, so I have eggs, and all I add is porridge, so I'll just show you guys now. So here I have porridge, oatmeal, a banana, three eggs, ketchup, coffee, and then my water there. Basic stuff, nothing crazy, I, I have eggs every day, coffee, banana, so my body's used to it. This is one thing that people do, is they change their diet on match day, and they 
eat foods or amounts of foods that your body isn't used to. So just eat foods that your body's used to that you have throughout the week and just time it better and portion it out better so that allows you to, to perform at your highest level in your match basically. So the time is just on 11 actually. I've just been watching Match of the Day, which is an English program which shows all the highlights from the Prem. I've been watching that, had breakfast about an hour ago. So nothing crazy, just chilling, drinking a lot of water, all that good stuff. I just got off the phone call with my coach because if you watched my previous vlog, you know that I've been suffering with a small knee, knee problem, I wouldn't call it an injury, just a knee pain. And I was meant to start today, but because of I still have the pain, I'm gonna be on the bench and then we'll see what happens. But even though I'm on the bench, or if I'm starting on the bench, or I might not even be in the squad, I still prepare the same way, so nothing changes, and I think that's what everyone should do. If you know you're gonna be on the bench, if you know you're not even gonna be on the bench, you, just, you should still prepare, because a player might get injured, so you might be on the bench, or a player might get injured in the warm-up, you get to the start line up, so always prepare the same way to make sure you can perform well. So basically, what I'm gonna do now is I've got about an hour, an hour and a half till I wanna have lunch, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my normal stretching routine, a little bit of band work. I'm going to do some work on my knee to try and just get it in the best condition for the match. Um, and basically that's it. So yeah, small stretching routine, a little bit of band work, really, really light, nothing crazy, simple stuff. And then basically that's, that's my preparation kind of thing. Stretching, band work, or foam roll, massage, gun, all that normal stuff. And then basically... I will just continue to chill, relax, and then in about an hour, hour and a half, I'll begin to sort out my lunch. And then, yeah, I've got to be at the stadium at half two, currently 11, so I've got time, I'm chilled, I'm calm. And then the nearer we get to kick off, or the nearer we get to the match, the more I focus on, pre on preparing mentally. So visualising, what do I want to do today? Like, if I knew I'll be starting right wing back, which I would have done, I would be visualising one-on-ones, putting in crosses, overlap runs, stuff like that. If you're a striker, visualise heading that cross into the goal, finishing, stuff like that. So yeah, the nearer I get to the match, the more I'll be focusing on the mental side of my preparation anyway. So yeah.
my lunch, I'm, I'm going to have chicken and pasta. This is a really basic. I had chicken cooked from yesterday, so I'm just going to reheat that, which I'm reheating now, which is in the microwave. I just cooked some pasta, some white pasta. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's how I was banging them together. Now, my pre game, uh, pre -game meals. I mean, yeah, my pre game meal was always the same as chicken um, and then white pasta, white rice, and then sometimes potatoes. So, yeah, I always use white rice, white pasta because it releases energy quicker than brown pasta or brown rice does, and they're a good source of protein. I normally have chicken, but it could be like some sort of fish, something like that. Um, but I always go for chicken because that's what my body's used to. So chicken, pasta, um, lots of water. I don't really tend to have vegetables unless I have potatoes because that just makes you go to the toilet more easier. So some, sometimes I have potatoes, sometimes I don't. Today I'm not having potatoes. So yeah, chicken, pasta, a lot of water. It's about half 12 now, so I have that chill. Might have an afternoon nap. I'll go for a shower, pack my bag, and then I'll head off to the match. Right, so this is it. So as I said, chicken from yesterday and pasta. You can see here. Now I've banged on some, some chilli sauce, but I, um, when for your pre-match meal, I recommend avoiding any fatty sauces, like for example, mayonnaise or anything. You just want to use some low-calorie, like low-fat or non-fat sauce, just add some flavour if you want. Um, so yeah, I'll have this, chill, then I'll pack my bag, go for a shower, and then probably head off to the gate really, that's it. Alright, so now I'm just going to quickly pack my bag so I know I'm ready and I can rest and chill and maybe have a nap, whatever. A lot of my stuff that I use and take to match is already there at the club, like my boots for example, and um, I don't know, cut socks, stuff like that. So yeah, as I say, most of my things, like my boots and stuff, they're all at the club already. So the stuff I take to my match is not a lot, but I've got a pair of like, base layer shorts, which I take. Then I've got, I'll oh, flip it and I'll... So basically, this is basically all I take to my matches. So I've got uh, base layer shorts, my shin pads, my grip socks that I wear, and my cut socks, my wash bag, and my foam roller. So basically, that is it. If you want to see what is inside my wash bag, then click on one of the corners. You can see that whole video. Um, but yeah, my foam roller, my grip socks to wear under my cut socks, my shin pads, my base layer shorts. Then what do I have at the club? I have my like, warm up t shirt, my cut socks, um, tape and stuff. My boots are at the club, and I'll probably be on the bench, I might, so I've got, I'll just get some clothes from there at the club anyway, just to wear on the bench if it's cold, so then, but normally I just take a banana and like some candy or sweets or something like that. So basically that is it, so I'm going to pack that now, so I know I'm 100% ready to go, then I'll just rest a bit, watch some more Netflix, focus on preparing mentally, that good stuff, then I'll go for a shower and then head off to the match basically, so that's it. I'm watching this Squid Game on Netflix, and I'm not going to lie, it's crazy, it is absolutely mental. So anyone looking for a Netflix series, bang out Squid Game. So yeah, I'm just going to watch the Netflix now, hopefully fall asleep for like 20, 30 minutes, um, just so I can rest. I, lo I like having a nap before a game. Right, so I'm all showered down, freshened up, ready to go. I've got my bag packed, wash bag, all my stuff that you saw packed. I'm going to take the water, a banana, and then I'm going to be going about 10, 15 minutes. So yeah, as I said, I will be on the bench because of this little knee problem I've got, but I might go, I might not, we'll see how the game goes, depends or if it's needed or anything like that, but that's up to the coach. So yeah, I probably won't film any, well, I won't film anything at the pitch because I don't want to get out my camera, my phone and stuff. I just want to be focused on the match. Um, so I'll probably speak to you guys after the match, let you guys uh, know how it went, and then I'll let you guys know what I do after a match. So yeah, I'll see you then. So I'm just currently editing this video now, and I got to the part where I said I would vlog after the game, which did happen, and I apologise for that, but there's... A reason that didn't happen well basically we won 3-0 i didn't play so i thought what's the point basically what happened was it was 1-0 at half time and the game was still quite like it was still quite a tight game so i got told to warm up at half time then we got our second goal and then the coach said all right we, we aren't gonna risk it come and sit down and i won't play so i didn't play so basically after the game obviously because i didn't play i didn't have to recover and focus on recovery so I don't really have any, anything to speak about in the vlog last night. But basically, because I said that, I'm going to give you a rough image of what it looks like after a game. So after a game, the main thing for me is sleep and water. Obviously, diet's important, but water and sleep, for me personally, is what's really important. So what I do is I just drink as much water as I possibly can, and I just focus on getting as much sleep as I can. Um, so basically again, no alarm the day after a match if possible and to sleep for as long as I can. 
adding in afternoon naps, small naps, stuff like that to just help speed up my recovery. Now diet, obviously if you played a full night you've burned a lot of calories um, and all that stuff. So obviously diet is important but for me I like to have a high protein, high carb meal but I also like to have a kind of bit of a cheat meal. So a high protein pizza, that's a thing, that's perfect for me. Um, so yeah, something along them lines. Um, but again, sleep and water are the key things for me after a match. Um, so yeah, obviously last night I got home from the match because I didn't play, I didn't have to do anything about recovery, so I just chilled and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, editing this video, I did realise that it's kind of boring, but I wanted to show the the real my real pre-game routine i didn't want to make it fancy just for the cameras or anything this is what it really looks like so i know it's quite a boring watch so if you are still here watching this video i really appreciate it and you're an absolute legend if you are if you're not here and you and you aren't watching this so you don't know i completely understand it's fine i know it's a boring video but this is honestly what my pre-game um routine looks like so anyway now i've got that Done with. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, please smash that like button. If you want more of these like vlogs and match day vlogs, rest day vlogs, stuff like that, drop a comment below. Let us know what you think. Now again, the fake agent agent video is coming out very soon. I'm in contact with a few fake agents now, so hopefully I, I can get them on like calls or something like that, and then I can get out the first episode of the fake agent series. Um, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of our videos and all that good stuff. If you have any ideas on what videos you want us to make in the future, again, feel free to drop a comment below. Check out our website. We've got a huge Halloween sale coming up soon, so don't miss out on that. Follow our Instagram, TikTok, um, so you don't miss out on any big deals or giveaways and stuff like that. Hope you have a great week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.